All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Friday, May 6th. Man, we've been waiting for this day for the last couple months. The California Cult Tasting. We're going to take down 14 wines from California, all top level quality stuff. And you'll hear about it tomorrow on what I drank yesterday, or maybe the next day. I don't know. Sometimes it takes us a few days to put this thing together. And uh, we've got a new segment for you today. We've got some uh, some guy that I met that uh, has tasted every great wine on the face of the earth, Alfred Rupert Humperdinck or something like that, and he's going to tell us, uh, well, about this wine of legend, the 1947 Cheval Blanc. Here we go with Wines of Legend with the great Alfred Rupert Humperdinck. All right, wine-drinking people, this is Alfred Rupert Humperdinck with Wines of legend, or legendary wines. The subject of today's conversation is the 1947 Cheval Blanc, a wine of legend, meaning it's bloody good. I remember the first time that I had this 1947, I was, I don't know, what day is it? What day is it today? God, dark, it was yesterday. It was yesterday, 60, 60 years ago, we were on an exercise storming the beaches off of Aquashon, and hungry as a bear, we found our way into the city of Bordeaux. Ah! A pail of hops and palm frites would not satisfy this mind, so we opened the Michelin star guide to find the closest three-star establishment. Ah! Le Chapon Fin it was! Immediately, we made our way there to ask for the sommelier. I wanted a bottle of 1928 Latour or an 1899 Palmer. This young chap, I think his name was Michel Roland or something like that, recommended a 1947 Cheval Blanc. Ha! All righty then. Familiar with the 47 vintage? It was a bugger in terms of heat. A near perfect growing season, but the end... 35 degrees Celsius. This is about 95 for you Fahrenheit buggers. Well, the problems associated with this vintage, for some reason, did not affect Cheval Blanc. Maybe it was the concrete fermenters or their superior knowledge after dealing with the bugger of a hot year 1945. But the great Michael Broadbent said about this wine, the man who tasted hundreds of wines. Unquestionably, one of the finest wines I've ever tasted. That's ever passed my lips. Incredibly rich. Fat. Ripe. Mammoth in size. Concentrated. Sweetness. Huge. Soft. Complete. Rounded. Fabulous concentration. Oh, righty then. Sounds like someone I'd like to meet. Oh, so bloody good. And I think this hypersensitive U.S. critic Robert Parker Jr. called this wine a red hot mess. A bugger of a fruitcake, motor oil, chocolate leather, Asian spices. Hmm. I'd rather like to meet her too. Ah! Oh, as I say, bloody good. This is Alfred Rupert. What the hell my name is? <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, what a character. I don't know where we found that guy, but uh, on to what we have to sell you today. We have got a tasting next week. Hey, we're just doing so much drinking in the store at such a high level of quality. It is amazing. Those of you that follow us wonder how we can do it, but we have got a 2009 uh, barrel sample tasting of Bouchard wines. We've seen a lot of Luc Bouchard over the last couple of years, and uh, he's been working the market really hard, making some great wines as well there at this, uh, well, the largest uh, of all the vineyard holders among the large negotiants with Premier and Grand Cru Vineyards. Bouchard Parafils owns more vineyards in that status than anybody else in Burgundy today. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things that helps you control the quality when you own the vineyards. So these guys are making some top-level stuff. 2009 is being plugged as one of the greatest vintages uh, in recent history. And, you know, you can't always believe the press. That's why we do these tastings. You know, you want to taste the wines. And we have got uh, 
man, I think we got like 15 wines. We've got uh, Echezo, we've got Grand Cru, we've got Volnay Caillere, one of the great premier crews. Uh, we got uh, some really great stuff. Courtauld Charlemagne, Chevalier Montrachet. Are you kidding me? And uh, we, Tony will be making up a few small courses to accompany uh, the tasting wines, of course. We've only got 16 seats for this, folks. We've only got one bottle of each of these wines. There's like 16 bottles. So the six, 16 lucky people that sign up for this one are going to have a great time. Uh, let me assure you of that. So check it out on today's offer. In addition to what we're tasting today, we've got an offer of all of the 2009 vintage wines coming from Bouchard Perry Feast into Florida. We've already pre-ordered a bunch of stuff, but hey, if you see something on this list that you want, let me know and I will get it for you. All right, you don't have to pay now either. That's a great thing about Burgundy, folks. Not like Bordeaux futures. As soon as you order them, you have to pay. In Burgundy, you don't have to pay till wines come in. Are you kidding me? doesn't get any better than that. Well, check it out, folks. On today's email, I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.